Hey guys, welcome to our channel, please click the subscribe button, and click the bell icon, and never miss another update from Almighty Java. In this video, we will see what is configuration and how to use the configuration in Spring Boot. Before adding anything first let's open Spring Source. Now let's open our GitHub page. Let's download Almighty Java MS project. Let's unzip this project. Now let's import this project in Spring Source. Project imported successfully. Let's run an Almighty Java project. Server started, let's open this in browser. It's working, let's log in. Here password is password. Logged in successfully. See everything is working fine. Let's open application class. See as you can see here we annotated this class as Spring Boot application. And here we created 4 beans using bean annotation. Here only 4 but in a real time application. It could be many so it is not at all a good practice to put everything in one file. So let's create new class under config package. Class name let's call app config. Click on finish. Class created successfully. Now annotate this class as configuration. Now cut those four beans from the application and paste it inside app config class. See like that you can create any number of classes and keep related beans. Now it's more clear code. Server started automatically. Let's click on all the links one by one. See all are working fine. As you can see here one bean for REST template. So let's start book REST API project also. Server started. Now let's click on a book list. See it's working fine. Let's stop the server. See this is the way you can create a configuration class. First, let's open Spring Boot application annotation Spring documentation. See under this 7 type of annotation included. Now open Spring Boot configuration annotation. See here this also annotate with configuration. So it gives us the flexibility to create our configuration class. There are many things you can do with this configuration annotation. Spring documentation will give you a lot more understanding about configuration annotation. Let's open. Indicates that a class declares one or more bean methods and may be processed by the Spring container to generate bean definitions and service requests for those beans at runtime. See here is the example like we also did the same way and we also created a class like an app config. Bootstrapping configuration classes via annotation config application context. Configuration classes are typically bootstrapped using either annotation config application context or its web capable variant annotation config web application context. Here is the example means internally how Spring process your configuration class. If you watched our Spring core video you can understand this code easily via Spring Beans XML as an alternative to registering configuration classes directly against an annotation config application context. Configuration classes may be declared as normal bean definitions within Spring XML files. See here is the sample code in this example above. The context annotation config is required to enable configuration class post processor and other annotation related post processor that facilitate handling configuration classes via component scanning. The configuration is meta annotated with component, therefore configuration classes are candidates for component scanning, typically using Spring XML's context component scan element, and therefore may also take advantage of auto wired inject like any regular component. In particular, 
if a single constructor is present auto wiring semantics will be applied transparently for that constructor, see here is the example. Configuration classes may not only be bootstrapped using component scanning but may also themselves configure component scanning using the component scan annotation. Working with externalized values, using the environment API, externalized values may be looked up by injecting the spring environment into a configuration class for example, using the AutoWired annotation. Properties resolved through the environment resigned in one or more property source objects, and configuration classes may contribute property sources to the environment object using the property source annotation. Using the value annotation, externalized values may be injected into configuration classes using the value annotation. This approach is often used in conjunction with Spring's property sources placeholder configurer that can be enabled automatically in XML configuration via context property placeholder or explicitly in a configuration class via a dedicated static bean method. See a note on bean factory post processor returning bean methods of beans Java docs for details. Note, however, that explicit registration of a property source's placeholder configure via a static bean method is typically only required if you need to customize configurations such as the placeholder syntax, etc. Specifically, if no bean post processor, such as a property source's placeholder configure, has registered an embedded value resolver for the application context. Spring will register a default embedded value resolver which resolves placeholders against property sources registered in the environment. See the section below on composing configuration classes with Spring XML using import resource. See the value Java docs, and see the bean Java docs for details on working with bean factory post processor types such as property sources placeholder configurer. Composing configuration classes with the import annotation. Configuration classes may be composed using the import annotation, similar to the way that import works in Spring XML, because configuration objects are managed as Spring beans within the container. Imported configurations may be injected, for example, via constructor injection. Now both app config and the imported database config can be bootstrapped by registering only app config against the spring context. With the profile annotation, configuration classes may be marked with the profile annotation to indicate they should be processed only if a given profile or profiles are active. Alternatively, you may also declare profile conditions at the bean method level, for example, for alternative bean variants within the same configuration class. With Spring XML using the import resource annotation, as mentioned above, configuration classes may be declared as regular Spring bean definitions within Spring XML files. It is also possible to import Spring XML configuration files into configuration classes using the import resource annotation. Bean definitions imported from XML can be injected. For example, using the inject annotation. With nested configuration classes, configuration classes may be nested within one another as follows. When bootstrapping such an arrangement, only app config need to be registered against the application context. By being a nested configuration class, database config will be registered automatically. This avoids the need to use an import annotation when the relationship between app config and database config is already implicitly clear. Note also that nested configuration classes can be used to good effect with a profile annotation to provide two options of the same bean to the enclosing configuration class. Configuring lazy initialization, by default, bean methods will be eagerly instantiated at container bootstrap time. To avoid this, configuration may be used in conjunction with the lazy annotation to indicate that all bean methods declared within the class are by default lazily initialized. Note that lazy may be used on individual bean methods as well.
enabling built-in spring features using enable annotation spring features such as asynchronous method execution, scheduled task execution, annotation-driven transaction management, and even spring MVC can be enabled and configured from configuration classes using their respective enable annotation constraints when authoring configuration classes. Configuration classes must be provided as classes, that is not as instances returned from factory methods, allowing for runtime enhancements through a generated subclass. Configuration classes must be non-final. Configuration classes must be non-local, that is may not be declared within a method. Any nested configuration classes must be declared as static. Bean methods may not, in turn, create further configuration classes. Any such instances will be treated as regular beans, with their configuration annotations remaining undetected. I hope you understood the concept behind configuration annotation. I checked in my changes, I will show you from where you can find these. Let's open our GitHub page. See here are the changes. That's it for this video. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.